it's Mrs. Moultrip here. Uh, I have something to apologize for. I kind of lied to you yesterday. Yesterday I said that we were only going to be doing one last thing for Earthquake at Dawn, and that's not true. We have one more thing to do, and it's, it's kind of related, but it's kind of different too. Um, so today I'm gonna be asking you to write a story based on a photograph. So we know that the entire book, Earthquake at Dawn, was written based on Edith Irvine's photographs. So our author, Christiana Gregory, um, looked at Edith's photographs, did a ton of research, and then created her entire story around Edith's photos, which is a really neat concept. And it got me thinking that, you know, all photos tell stories. They all do. We just have to figure out what that story is. So I posted an assignment, I'm gonna look at it while I'm talking to you, um, that asks you to choose one of three photos that I put on the Google Doc and write a story about it. However, your story has to have um, some different things in there. So your story has to have a title, you have to have a setting, where and when does the story take place? So somewhere within the first part of your story, you should indicate what your setting is. We need to have a protagonist, who's your main character going to be? I want you to have at least three major events. So try to have a beginning, middle, and end to your story. And I have to have some evidence of conflict. So what problem is your protagonist running into? And then lastly, how do they resolve that conflict? So basically, how does the story end? Um, how does everything kind of get tied up in a nice, neat little bow? So there are three photographs from you to, for you to choose from. One is actually a photograph of a tsunami. That's kind of interesting. Then there's a photograph of some lions and then a photograph of an elderly gentleman with a younger child. So choose one of those photographs to write a story about and you're gonna write your story below those photographs right on the same Google Doc. As always, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. Good luck.